Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There it is. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on in here, y'all. I'm getting the hang of this thing a little bit better. I see the button I missed there. So, yes, good to see you guys. Come on in. It's time for the word. Glory to God. Time in the word time at Embassy Church. Here we are, ready to do our thing. And of course, I know y'all saw the, uh, the the flyer that we had on there for you just a minute ago. The Sunday morning, this coming Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, we're going to be online. Yeah, I know some of y'all breathing sighs of relief right now saying, oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But just know that we're going to be right back in the saddle again here in a minute. But we're going to be online this week. And um, and then, of course, the following week, we're going to all be together at Admiral Baker uh, Park in order to celebrate Father's Day with all these great men of God and, and all the families and so on. We're going to have a great, great time in the Lord. Amen. It's going to be a great, great time. So you want to be there. You want to be a part of this meeting. Amen. You want to be a part of every. Remember, every time we have a, a live meeting. Our goal is for everybody. Folks, that's not a lot to ask, you know. That's really not a lot to ask. If for everybody, you're talking about a couple times a month, every other Sunday, uh, uh, to come to church. You know what I mean? That's like, it's like, you know, it, 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 it's kind of pathetic to even talk like I'm talking right now because you, you, it's almost like you're begging Christians to obey God. You're begging Christians to do something as simple as to come to church. Are you following me? We're supposed to come to church because that's a part of our our life as a believer is that we don't forsake assembling ourselves together, which is the manner of some. And so much the more, the Bible says, as you see that day approaching. Amen. So our goal and our job is to always find a way to provoke one another to love and to good works, to be that a fellowship, to strengthen and to encourage each other. So Father's Day, of course, will be at Admiral Baker's. And of course, we will be. Uh, 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 what am I trying to say? We will be at um, uh, on online. That's the word I want to use. What we're going to be doing? We're going to be online this coming uh, week. Amen. It's going to be a great day. Looking forward to it. It's looking. I mean, ten o'clock Sunday morning. Y'all get ready. Now I got. Now what I got to do now is get back into that mode where I was before during COVID, where I got up on Sunday morning and prepared to have service. See, so now I'm, I'm I'm so used to going to church now. Now it's like a flip backwards for me to go and to try and, and get myself prepared for this new uh, thing that we got to do this coming Sunday. So with that said, I am ready. If you're ready, I am so, so ready to get this word taught because I'm just, I mean, I'm, I, I stay full of it, ready to teach it. So, you know, just ready for you guys to jump on in here with me as we study. We've been talking about achievement. We've been talking about achieving on this past week, and we've dealt with a couple of different aspects of achieving. Number one, we talked about planning and goal setting. We talked about how to put plans into action and how to make goals <clears throat> so that God can help you to bring those goals to pass. Amen. We said that goal setting is essential for you to achieve success. You got to first have a goal in order to achieve the goal. And then, of course, we went the last time we talked about this on overcoming the obstacles that try to stop you from getting to that place where you achieve your goal. We got to overcome those obstacles. And then last, but by no means least, we're talking tonight about celebrating your successes. Celebrating your successes. When you begin to do what God called you to do, at some point, you'll begin to see successes along the way. And when you see those things that we call successes, where you be, where you saw something come to pass that God promised you, you saw him do something, bless you or whatever in your life, and you begin to see those successes when they come to pass in your life, it's time to celebrate your success. Amen. After years and years of hard work, this, this girl named Sarah was promoted on her job and she was eager to get home to her family and friends and start celebrating. But before she went home and celebrated with them, she took a moment to pray because she understood that her success was not on her own. It was not because of her, but it was because of God's grace and God's blessing and his guidance and, and leading and so on and so on as she followed his path. 
She felt grateful and she felt humbled because she was recognizing that her achievement was not just her own ability, but it was a gift from God. It was a gift from God. What you do in your life and what you achieve in your life, it is a gift from God. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father above. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57 says, but thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. It is he, the Lord God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because victory comes through Jesus, our victory celebration should always include him. Three things. Number one, when you achieve your goals, you got to celebrate and you got to thank God. You got to celebrate and thank God. What good does it do to achieve the thing and you ain't got time to give God praise for it? We're celebrating and thanking God every goal that we achieve. Number two, we're recognizing God's role and how he helped us to, re and, and watch. And then when we do that, when we understand his role in the whole process, we, when we understand the part that he played in our success and having it to come to pass, then it helps to keep us humble and keep us grateful, keep us in an attitude of thanksgiving because we understand that it was God who played the major role. He was the one who did the leading and the guiding and the giving the increase and all that stuff. Are you following me? And then, of course, number three, we talked, we're talking about celebrating and therefore celebrating acknowledges that every victory is through God's grace. When you take the time to celebrate, you're not doing it because you're selfish. You're doing it because you want to take the time to give him his just due. You want to take the time to let him know that you're not dumb, you're not stupid, and you're not thinking that you're doing this all by yourself. You know that it is him who makes it all possible. And without him, you are absolutely nothing. Can you say amen to that? Without him, you are nothing. Without him, I could do nothing. That's the old song we used to sing back in church a long time ago. Without him, I would fail. Without him, my life would be drifting just like a ship. <laughs> without a sail. Boy, sometimes we got to take you young folks back to them old days where you where you had some time where you were grateful because you knew everything you got was from God. You knew it wasn't nothing about you. It was all about him. Amen. Without him, I could do nothing. Without him, I would fail. Without him, my life would be drifting just like a ship <laughs> without, without a sail. That's what your life would be without him. So you understand that without him, I'm nothing, but with him, I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. I want you to get that. Without him, I'm nothing, but with him. See, I, you hear me pray it all the time, Father. I thank you that we know, we've we come to recognize that without you, we are absolutely nothing. But we give you thanks and praise because we have you and with you all things are possible to us that believe. Without him, I would be nothing. Without him, I would fail. Without him, my life would be drifting just like a ship <laughs> without a sail. Yes, Lord, I'm so thankful for him because it's all him. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Folks, I failed enough in my life to realize that all I can do on my own is fail. I'm going to say that one more time. That was so good to pass up. Listen, listen, you, that was too good. You can't pass it up. I have failed enough times in my life to realize that failure is an automatic without him. You follow me? Without him, failure is an automatic. But with him, because I have him, all things are possible. All things are possible to him who believes. Are you listening to me? All things are possible to him who believes. Amen. And amen. All things, all things are possible. <laughs> My old pastor used to sing that song. If you only, only believe, yes, I, I believe. 
he, he old, old school, old school. My, my pastor, he's old school, old school Baptist boy. He, he, he got to, he got to hit that last note. I, I believe that all things are possible. Yes, I. <laughs> boy, I'm just. I believe. Oh, I, I believe, I, I believe that all things are, are possible. <laughs> yes, I, I believe. And then he would turn around, he'd say, do you, do you believe, do you, do you believe that all things are possible? Man, some of y'all ain't had a praise in your heart in 45 years, man. It don't take me but two seconds to start praising God and just get this thing just take off, man. Good God Almighty. It don't take but two seconds and a, and a couple of notes on a song for that thing to take off. You need to keep a song in your heart. Glory to God. The Bible says you're supposed to be singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. That should be something inside you that make you always want to give him praise. And giving him praise don't mean you're running around the swimming pool, falling into the water, talking about God got a hold of you and the Holy Ghost took over you. No, giving him praise simply means just lifting up your voice to him. Lord, I lift your name on high. It ain't got to be something. You, 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 you put your own little version in there. You do your own little thing. Lord, I love to sing your, your praises. See, you ain't got to sing it the way y'all sing it at church. You got your own. You, this is you and God talking now. I'm so glad you're in my life. And I'm so glad you came to save me. You came from heaven to earth because you wanted to show me the way from the earth to the cross. My debt you paid from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, my God, I'm just trying to get the people to worship God. Because when you do, the presence of God comes in the room like it never before. And when that presence is in the room, you know it's you and him, boy. You, I'm telling you what, faith comes alive, joy comes alive, peace is in your heart. Glory to God. You've got a peace that passes all understanding, not because you're somebody special, but because the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I can feel him in the atmosphere because the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. My God, thank you, Father. Father, bless all these that have heard your word tonight. We know that you bring us from the starting point all the way to the end because you see the end from the beginning. We thank you for your grace and your favor, and we thank you for your power that's upon every life and every heart. Use us as only you can because only you can use us the way that we fulfill our purpose in the earth. We love and appreciate you so very much because you are so good, and your mercy endures forever. In Jesus' name, all God's children. Said amen and amen. Come on, give God some praise, y'all. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Oh, I'm just trying to teach some of y'all how to get how to how to get that praise thing. See, that's what praise is. Praise ain't gotta have nothing to do with ain't got nothing to do with no musicians sitting over there and over there. Praise has everything to do with singing and making melody in your heart 
to the Lord because that's where he is. Amen. That's where he resides and that's where he empowers you through your spirit. Amen. Praise God. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm done. Let me do this before we before we go. It is time for offering. Are y'all ready to receive the offering tonight? Well, very good. If you are, then let's get ready to do it. It's offering time at Embassy Church. Just in case you don't know, we are a giving church. We believe in giving. We are a giving church, and we believe it is the will of God for all of us to be givers in the household of faith. Amen. We believe that it is God's will for the people of God to be givers, and therefore we give you the opportunity. That's why we do it, because everybody gets an opportunity. Everybody doesn't give every day, but everybody has an opportunity every day. And those who didn't give yesterday might want to give today. So therefore, we give you an opportunity. Did you get that? Somebody, why well, y'all receive offering every time? Because we're giving you an opportunity to sow. We're giving you an opportunity to give. You don't have to, but if you want to take the opportunity, the Bible says in First Timothy that we're supposed to be ready at every opportunity to give. Therefore, we are coming in his place and we are ready to sow our seed in the kingdom of God. Amen. Because he is the one who gave you the seed to sow. Father, as we now prepare our hearts to sow into the kingdom, as we release our seed, our tithes and our offerings, they belong to you. We give them with all of our heart. We give them with joy unspeakable and full of glory because you have blessed our lives and you've caused us to grow and to, in, and to increase in every area. And for this, we thank you as we sow, we believe we reap. Multiply it back to us according to your word. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. And those that agreed said amen and amen and amen. God bless you guys. Hey, listen, man. I ain't going to hold you no longer, but you know, again, don't forget Sunday morning, where we're going to be online, online, Sunday morning, Sunday morning is what online. Be ready for it. Y'all. It's going to be a great time in the Lord. I promise you, we're going to have a good time. And then of course, next Sunday will be father's day at Admiral Baker. Uh, we'll be there right here. If you're in San Diego, you want to be there. We got a gift for all the men. We did something a little bit different this time. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. We, we, we could have done the same old, same old, but we decided to change it up just a tad. And I uh, think you guys are going to like what we're going to do for you this time, okay? All right, with that said, make sure you, if you want to bring some brothers with you, bring some fathers with you to church that day, it would be a great thing to do. Don't let that go, church service go by without you being a blessing to somebody. And remember, every person, we want every person, every member, man, woman, boy, and girl, we want the children's church to be filled up. We want the young folks to be filled. We want everybody to be in church on these Sundays when we're going to meet in person. Amen? Guys, I love y'all. God bless you. I'm looking forward to seeing you Sunday, Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning in Jesus' name. And all God's children shouted amen. Don't forget, this is Friday night. You got Saturday. Be careful. Take it easy. Relax. Get yourself some rest. And then Sunday morning, it is on in Jesus' name. I love you. I'll holler at you later. Y'all be good. Have a great night. God bless you.